Hi friends, welcome back to channel SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to do the CPU throttling test in the Realme GT Neo 5 for 30 minutes of continuous CPU throttling test. So this is a phone which has got the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 processor and previously I did upload the videos using with the 15 minutes of time but right now I'm going to use for 30 minutes using with the GT mode. As you can see the GT mode is turned on and let's find out how will be the overall CPU throttling test gonna be there in this device. And these are the settings I'm trying to use in this phone. And I'll definitely compare the videos with the OnePlus 11R. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you want to know similar kind of testing comparison. Very soon I'll try to upload the video. So let's get started with this CPU throttling test. And in the beginning the temperatures are 27 degrees Celsius in the beginning. And I can be back after some time. So here's a quick look at the CPU throttling test results after 8 minutes of time in the Realme GT Neo 5 device. And the temperature increased up to 37.8 and uh, 33.8 these are the temperatures in the realme gt neo 5 38 degrees celsius and i will be back after getting close to 15 minutes of time i'll try to check the temperatures and the performance so right now as you can see friends after 20 minutes of time in the realme gt neo 5 device so this is a quick look at the overall performance numbers and look at the temperatures right now it's about 41 degrees celsius the temperatures 41.8 and maroon temperature is still 26 degrees celsius and I will be back after the time getting close to 25 minutes or 28 minutes. Then we will try to discuss more details about the overall performance and the overall score. What's happening in this Realme GT Neo 5. I will be back after some time. So finally friends, this is a quick look at the CPU dotting test results in the Realme GT Neo 5. And the high temperatures were about close to 42 degrees Celsius in this smartphone which did increase. And the CPU total up to 76%. So which is also pretty decent enough I would say regarding the throttling. Not much throttling is happening at this moment even after 30 minutes of time. Next time I'll try to do the 60 minutes of CPU throttling test. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. And these are maximum scores, average and the minimum scores. So meanwhile signing off until instead of more updates and bye.